Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. I am back with another video. I'm super excited to show you guys how I got these super cute pop art Halloween nails. Totally inspired by Not Polished Style. When I saw the set, I was like, I have to recreate those. It was the vampire lips for me, although I've never done anything like that. And I knew I would be up for it. Uh, like a really really hard challenge but I like a challenge I'm getting to the point where I have to challenge myself to do more because like you know but yeah like I said it was a lip for me and we're gonna get right into it y'all so without further ado let's get into it I'm gonna be using malt from nail house y'all look at these new four ounce jars like these are huge compared to the one ounce like I'm so loving it and I'm loving that they are offering I think they're offering four ounce jars in every color now if I'm not mistaken like not just the cover powders that is so bomb um if you guys are interested in shopping nail house um highly recommend that you guys use my code Portia at checkout to save a little bit of money on your orders and you guys will see um a haul that I have coming soon with some nail house products with the four ounce jars and just some other things from uh, other brands and everything like that anyways y'all so getting right into it I'm gonna be using this color malt for the base of the nails and um like I said y'all we're gonna be like doing you know sort of that design but I'm gonna be like totally remixing it I'm not gonna be using the same colors or doing all the same things at all so yeah the base of my nails will be nude or some of them for the most part and they will be pink also totally forgot to mention that I am using of course as always nail houses size 16 Kalinsky brush as well as their monomer and the tips that I have on y'all already know are acrylic creameries 3xl sickle wear tips links to all of the sites in the description below so yeah like I said I'm just going in on all the nails um oh the base of the nails with this color here which is again malt m-a-l-t malts from nail house i so love this color this is my favorite nude from them like my favorite nude used to be melanin and teddy but this is my new favorite um nude from them although i still love melanin and teddy i have not used those in a long while but yeah this is my favorite this is my new favorite nude from them and yeah like i said all the all the nails will be this color and i'm going to paint a couple of them or the pinky nail and the index finger. You guys will see when I get there. I'm going to paint them pink. Oh, and the thumb as well. So, y'all, I'm not going to lie. Not going to lie. Not going to lie. <laughs> I kind of... Well, I don't regret anything. But I, I'm kind of like bums that I didn't do like you know more halloween sets y'all like I, I swear i really did not care for them but it's like once i started doing them like once i started doing all of the nail art and stuff like that like i like a challenge y'all i love a challenge i've always loved a challenge and it's like since i started doing the nail art and stuff and it came out like cute and all of that well of course it's gonna come out cute but <laughs> i'm kidding but yeah it's fun y'all like it's fun like drawing little things on the nails that i never drawn before and seeing how they come out and just trying new things like i want to keep like drawing i like i said y'all i'm trying to i'm gonna try to get like more into draw more on the nails because like it's kind of what's next if you know what i mean like i'm not like you know, I've only started doing nail art within, a, like, real, like, nail art, like, drawing within the past, like, what, month or so, something like that. I don't know. Like, real nail art, not just, like, lines and stuff. Um, Yeah, and, well, maybe, like, yeah, the past month or something like that. Since I've done those, <laughs> since I've done those black trippy nails, I don't know when I did those, maybe a month or two ago. Maybe I could be wrong. I don't know. But yeah y'all i want to get more into doing nail art because it's like challenging a little bit but i just love kind of like seeing how it comes out like i love that and yeah i definitely should have been doing more halloween sets before now and because you guys have been loving them as well like you know you guys have been loving them too 
and i just definitely should have done some more but for now now i'm trying to like squeeze in some like i think what's today like the I don't even know what today is. Y'all don't keep me keeping up with the days. Oh, it's the 25th. So, like, I'll probably try to squeeze in, like, one more. Maybe do one tomorrow. I literally did these nails last night. I'm, and I'm editing it all today. I, ne I never, ever... I never, ever film one video and edit the next day. It probably take me days before I edit that video. Or... And when I finally do edit or edit it, I always do it in, like, two sittings. Because it take me, like, y'all, it take me, like... It could take me anywhere from like six to eight hours to edit. I know that's crazy, right? It's, I've gotten a little bit faster lately because I've kind of got it like kind of down. Um, I'm also going to be filming or I kind of already did um, film or more screen record how, well, yeah, screen record how I f um, edit my videos. So be looking for that video soon and I'm going to edit it and put it up for y'all. You know, put my voice over and explain to y'all um, how I edit because I know like some of you guys need that or need to know or want to know like how to use iMovie and stuff so I'm going to be doing that for you guys but so that's to say that I always edit my videos in like two sittings because it's taking me a while so I always I'll explain that to you guys but point is yes I'm trying to like hurry up and get these Halloween sets out like I said I never edit I never I never film and edit and all of that and get a video up within what 24 to 48 hours never do that so i'm definitely trying to hurry up and get these halloween sets out i may do one more or maybe i could try to squeeze in two more i don't know y'all like i want to do more i want to just draw some more halloween stuff it's so cute like yeah well some halloween stuff is cute like i don't like all halloween like nails like i'm not into like the gory stuff and all of those like and i hate seeing the same things and the same designs and the same sets over and over and over again so that's why i kind of try to switch my sets up like just even in general like you guys always know i try to do unique sets i pretty much freestyle for the most part i never ever ever like really ever very rarely recreate someone's set if i do it has to be like a bomb set like something I, you know and yeah i always just try to be different and unique that's why i literally freestyle my sets i kind of make i literally like think about the next nail as i'm going along like i just kind of bounce off the nail previous and just do that because um i just like to do sets that you guys don't see anywhere else so yeah um i'm i'm gonna be quiet now <laughs> and let you guys finish watching this application y'all i love that nail house's new formula is like faster drying i come to realize that i kind of like a faster drying acrylic um not like super duper fast drying but i love a faster drying acrylic where you don't have to sit there forever and wait for it to dry um yeah also y'all i've been getting faster at my acrylic application like and better too like i don't know if you guys can tell but I definitely have just a little bit <laughs> um i'm definitely not perfect i'm still like you know learning and doing my thing but i'm so glad i'm getting faster this took me 30 minutes y'all to lay this application or this acrylic 
and that's good for me because i remember very vividly like not even too long ago i used to take like an hour or even more laying acrylic on five little fingers but i'm so glad about that it means i can do more nails for y'all um you know like film more videos and get like you know do like two a day instead of one a day and all of that i can do like more videos for y'all and yeah and also it was never really the application that took the longest anyway like i feel like the longest like i could do good but then when i get to the design part that take me like a long time because i'd be like thinking like should i do this should i do that and you know like is can anyone else relate like what is the longest process of like which is the longest part of your nail process like is it your application shaping or the design part like it's always the design part for me comment which part you take the longest on in the comment section below i want to see y'all somebody had um commented on the lat y'all forgive me if i ever just pop in saying random stuff it's because while i'm editing this like I, every time i edit videos i try to think of if any of you guys had asked me something and i wanted to answer it in the next you know answer it for you guys or any or something like that i try to remember but it'd be like so many of y'all um and i low-key have amnesia a little bit just a little bit <laughs> but anyway somebody had asked me in the last video to like say my name because i guess they don't know how to pronounce it or something um it's portia 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 nailed it <laughs> it's portia um a lot of people be spelling my name wrong or even saying it wrong i'd be like how do you say my name wrong like it's not porsche or well i can see how someone will get like porsche but people be saying like porsche i'd be like porsche like does it like say porsche to you like portia portia <laughs> <laughs> like yeah it's Portia it feels weird saying my own name it always has like I, I don't really care to be saying my own name it kind of feels weird but yeah that's how you say it let me know in the comment section below if you guys have always said my name like that or because I never really say it but I feel like y'all would know that it's Portia like not Porsche or something like that comment down in the comment section below if you knew my name was pronounced that way If you guys are looking for a good nude, like, I love Me A Secret cover pink. Like, y'all know I would love that to the death of me. But I love this one as well. This is my favorite, my other favorite nude um, from Nail House. Especially, like, if you're looking for a nude for, like, all skin tones, this one is it. Like, this one's definitely it. 
and the only reason you guys don't see me use it as much is because um is because i had used all i had used up all the rest of my one ounce on a customer set and i was so sad um but it's this specific new they had wanted and requested and it was that was pretty much it and the only one that i had so yeah and i haven't well i did get it since but it was a one ounce and i don't i don't really like using my one ounce cover powders because like i will use it all in like a couple sets like a few sets um so i like to stick to mommy secrets cover pink that's a four ounce and it's you know very cheap and accessible i love something accessible i get it on amazon um but yeah that's the only reason why i don't use this one as much but since i got this four ounce i will be putting it to use um but i still will probably be using my me secret cover pink more just because it's you know like i said more or less expensive as well and more accessible also i don't know if i said this already but be looking out for a or an unboxing from nail house and a couple of other brands pretty soon um but nail house with these huge four ounce jars yeah be on the lookout for that video Again, y'all, always turn that nail to the side so that you guys can see the side view of the application so that you guys can see where you need more acrylic and all of those things. Um, that's why you guys see me do it like every single second because I have to see the side view to make sure it's all good. All right, y'all. So this is how the nails are looking with the application complete. Love this color. Now I'm just tapping the nails, make sure that they're dry. I'm sure they're dry because this is a super fast drying. Well, not super fast drying, but a fast drying acrylic. So it was definitely dry. And now I'm going to go in with my favorite nail file of all time um, from Zule, her 80 by 100 grit, the curved one. My favorite file in the world. If y'all haven't tried them, try them. You won't be disappointed. And um, yeah, just gonna go ahead and file and shape the nails as always, starting with the surface of the nails, then underneath them, and then the sides, and then the tips with my e file, and lastly, follow by sealing the cuticles. And if you guys want a in depth shaping tutorial, highly, highly recommend that you guys go check out my shaping tutorial on my channel. I'll always have it linked below in the description of like my videos as well as a couple of other core videos you guys can find there, like my application for beginners, as well as my pop-off method. Um, those are a few videos that people like look for, ask for. So I have those linked below so you guys can check that out. They're all very helpful. 
Also, y'all, I'm sorry, but as y'all can see, there's no shaping ASMR in this video. Um, I just didn't like doing it this time, and I had my music playing. I really was, like, vibing out, so I really didn't want to turn it off. But um, we're going to speed through this application, not application. We're going to kind of speed through kind of a little bit, um, this shaping a little bit, because these nails took me forever. And yeah, I just wanted to, um, also because I feel like shaping is repetitive. Like, do y'all not feel like that way? Like, I said this a long time ago too. Like, I feel like shaping is repetitive. And I always tell you guys, you can go watch my shaping tutorial if you want. But I feel like shaping is repetitive and I don't really want to see it that much. Like, am I the only one? Um, I do try to leave it in a little bit for you guys. But like watching the whole thing, like for me at least, it's kind of like repetitive. Let me know what you guys think. always and will forever be the thumb for me <laughs> anyways y'all this is how the nails are looking all shaped and filed i'm gonna go ahead and buff them clean them off dust them off all of that and then we're gonna move on and to these designs i'm so excited All right, y'all, let's get into it. So for these nails, I will be using three different gel polishes or four different ones, actually. But these right here are Madame Glam's Perfect White and Black. And then the pink one here, which is my favorite, my all-time favorite gel polish from Nail House, which is their Pepto. I love this pink. It's like the most prettiest pink gel I've ever seen, like ever. <laughs> um, Not exaggerating. I love this pink so much. I have three of them. Like I have three like i have one and then two backups anyway um yeah so i'm going in on the pinky nail with this gel polish oh and the fourth one you guys will see me bring out which is um a hot pink color from beetles but yeah i'm going in on the pinky nail and the index finger nail and the thumb later i did the thumb really like late, later like way later because i didn't know what i was going to do on that one yet but um yeah, gonna go in with two coats on these nails. Um, y'all, I'm not the best gel polisher. I I really don't like polishing the nails like at all. I hate polishing nails like bad. Um, I'm not that good at it at all, and I just kind of really hate it. But I want the nail. You know, I want them all to correlate for the most for the or y'all. I'm sorry, it's getting about that time. Um. I like my nails to correlate colors, like, you know, be the same color. And I used to just try to find a match to whatever gel polish I was trying to use for an acrylic. But I find that once I cap it and clear and all of that, it ended up, 
let me know if that if that happens to you guys too like once i end up capping a color in clear sometimes like sometimes i can always well not always but sometimes it it isn't like the same exact color as before like i can't be the only one i know i'm not tripping like like i said i will try to find a corresponding color acrylic to whatever gel polish i want to use and it will be the same exact color before i cap it but once i cap it and all of that and when it's all you know said and done it like is a different color for some reason like it's not the same color but anyway say all that to say that is why i'm painting these nails otherwise i wouldn't because i really hate painting anyways y'all like i said i went in on these nails with two coats of this color um cared them both in between for 60 seconds See, this is why I hate painting too, because I feel like I have to go over the nail like a billion, like a billion trillion times. <laughs> I know it isn't a number, but you know what I'm saying. Um, also, that brush that you guys see me using to clean up the nails is um, Zule's, one of Zule's gel brushes. I love her gel brush set so bad. I'm talking about so bad. Yeah, <laughs> I love that set. It's like the perfect gel brushes if you guys have not tried them highly recommend it and i super love that um one i was just using because i use it for multiple different things which is there's that brush y'all <laughs> no i have not dipped it in hot water yet y'all i don't know like i just haven't done it but it's definitely time like y'all see it's starting to throw up gang signs and stuff like that's not cool that is so irritated and it irritated me so bad doing the set y'all like it irritated me so bad i have to keep going over it like over this right here where normally i could just you know just be done like draw the line and be done but it was like these these brush hairs are just something else i promise the next video i'm going to be it's going to be dipped in hot water i promise because i can't take it anymore Anyways, what I was saying was get Zule's gel brushes. I love them, especially the one you guys saw me using to clean up the nail. I use that for um, multiple different things. Anyways, y'all. So as you can see now, we have moved on to the next step. I am using Madame Glam's Perfect Black to create that, you know, little black outline for the little, um, what is it called? Like the little, what is it called? Like cartoon nail or whatever i don't know yeah i'm going in and creating that black little ring around the nail also um i am using zule's or one of zule's gel brushes that is a part of her little set i think there's four brushes in a set i'm using one of them to do so all of the brushes outside of that my infamous little wonky brush as y'all say um are the ones from zule's gel brush set um I love them. Like I said, I highly recommend them. There's different sizes and different, like, you know, there's, you get different uses for each one. So that's how that nail is looking so far, y'all. I'm going to go ahead and cure that because I'm clumsy and I will mess it up. It's like I have to cure each little each little thing in between because if I don't, it'll be messed up. Anyways, next I'm going to go in on the same or on the pinky nail and do that same exact thing. And then I'm going to create the little lining details inside of it. these two little nails were cute but these aren't even or that's not even the best part i cannot wait to get into showing you guys how i created the the real nail art um especially the little vampire mouth like i was so proud of that i cannot wait to show you guys how i created that
so this is my little daily reminder to or whatever this is my little reminder to tell you guys to go ahead and like this video if you have not already and if you are not subscribed to my channel then you might as well go ahead and subscribe too because i know that you are well i don't know nothing but subscribe to my channel if you are liking the vibes and the art and the nails and all of that because I know some of you guys, you know, just be needing a little reminder, be forgetting. I know some of the girls like the video before it even start. You know what I'm saying? Like, those are my girls who do that. I know I know my little supporters, my usual, you know what I'm saying, supporters. Um, and, you know, like, yeah, that's just my little reminder. Because, like I said, some of y'all be forgetting. So, I'm here to remind you. That's why I'm here, you know? Like, that's why I'm here. To remind you to like and subscribe. <laughs> Anyways, y'all, that is how the nails are looking outlined. And next, I'm gonna go in and create, like I said, the little lining detail. Um, you know, to make it pop and really look like, I guess, I guess, cartoonish. <laughs> um, yeah. So I'm just adding these little lines in the corners, um, and then I'm gonna be adding a few more little lines. You guys will see. Oh, also, I ended up. Um, wiping that one off the NX fingernail one because it was a little bit more thicker than the one with the pinky And I was trying to decide if I wanted to go thicker or thinner and I actually do like the way the thinner look looks <laughs> so yeah Anyways, I'm gonna go in next with Madame Glam's perfect whites. I know y'all that bottle looks crazy Hamena had said something last time and i didn't realize when she had said it like can she clean my gel polish bottles i thought she meant like the dust but then i realized she was talking about this one this white one in particular with all of the <laughs> the gel around the rim and the bottle and stuff um i use that you can clearly tell i use that one often i had it for a very long time um yeah so that's why i look kind of crazy um yeah I, I won't be getting that off that bottle is literally almost gone i have been tilting that bottle for the past three months getting that um gel all out of there because they had um they discontinued well they still have perfect white but i can tell it's not the same formula like it isn't pure white anymore so that's why i switched to zule's um but anyway i'm getting off subject um i'm going in now with a778 i believe that was this hot pink color from beetles and i'm creating that you know those other detailed outlines also as you guys can see i already kind of created the white lines while i was talking um but yeah it's pretty simple beginner friendly i feel like this design here is And then I just kind of started creating some of my own little lines outside of, you know, the ones she had included in her set, you know, to just kind of, you know, just, I don't know. I just wanted to add a, a few more lines to kind of, you guys know what I'm saying. <laughs> Anyways, and then I also didn't add the little white dot that she had on hers because I didn't want that, you know, recreating and you know it's some things i don't like to take and put on my set i just kind of like to do my own thing so yeah um now y'all i am going to start the nail art on this ring fingernail which is also one of my favorites just not my most favorite because i love that vampire mouth which you guys will see me do in a minute but um I'm going to go in on this ring finger nail right now, starting at the bottom with this pumpkin. Y'all, I've never drawn a pumpkin before or anything. I've never drawn anything on this set for that matter. So everything here was new for me. And I'm so proud at the way they came out. It took me a very, 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 very long time. Long, dreadful time. But it was so, so worth it, I tell you. Anyway, so yeah, going in and doing the little base for that pumpkin, you know, um... And I cure that for 60 seconds and I'm going in with the second coat and I'm going to cure that again for another 60 seconds. And then when it come out, I'm going to use Madame Glam's Perfect Black to create those little pumpkin lines. Oh, I lied. Actually not black. I'm going to use this pink here from Beatles.
so y'all i would say like my number one tip i always say my number one tip for like doing any type of nail art well well one is practice because you know you just gotta practice simple nail art and then you'll be able to do like advanced nail art you know as you go along like i said um i've never done any of these things before like at all and it's just my first time doing them all and i kind of winged it um yeah but my number one tip is to practice and then a the second one is to you guys every time you guys see me doing nail art i always have my pinky you guys can't see it right now but i always for the most part have my pinky out for stability like laying against like resting against my other hand like you guys see there a little bit in the frame um i gotta zoom down so you guys can see real good but yeah i always have my pinky out and resting against my hand for stability so i don't be like shaking all over the place if you know what i'm saying like and nail art also gets easier just like anything with time you know because practice makes improvement also you have to just do it like you have to just do it as well like to you know good get good at anything you have to start you have to begin or otherwise you won't know how to do it like like i told you guys i really didn't get into nail art nail art like that like actually drawing on the nails besides like lines and frenches and stuff like that um like real nail art until like a month ago literally with that black trippy set i felt so confident after that set that i could like draw on the nails so i just started trying different things you know like i just start trying things i haven't drawn before and just different things you know like you have to just try it you'll never know how to do something if you don't try it and once you start doing you know nail art and just certain different things you'll find different techniques that work for you and things like that like for instance um with this pumpkin i was like there's no way i'm about to draw those tiny little squares um or like little you know the cut out for the teeth or whatever they are like you know that little design where it's missing some i'm like i'm about to push this brush up in there to make the polish disappear and to make that line like um like i'm good at coming up with things on a fly like that like well clearly because like i said i winged all of this never did any of it before and i'm like you know normally two hour practice before i do something but i didn't practice any of this i just winged it um and i just kind of like you know as i went, went along like how could i do that you know like kind of thought it out a little bit you know like you know what i'm saying <laughs> so yeah y'all i just i just really encourage all of you if you want to do it no art and just try start somewhere everyone has to start somewhere with everything whether that's you know doing nails period or you know getting into nail art or anything anything like that what also blows my mind about this is that I didn't watch a single tutorial either on any of this nail art. I went, in, I went into this like having no clue, especially that vampire mouth, like how I was going to do it. Yeah, no clue at all. I just had a whole lot of faith and a whole lot of patience too. Um, and sometimes, y'all, that's all it literally takes is just a little faith and some effort. That's all like nothing is too hard for you to do. Um, you can do whatever you put your mind to that like literally you can do whatever you put your mind to it's not some kind of like just you know like some cliche or anything like that you literally can do whatever you put your mind to and i'm literally proof of that um so yeah i encourage you all if you guys want to try nail art to just go ahead and try it um and then that is what i'm here for for these you know to do these for tutorials for y'all the ones that people aren't doing you know and um so you guys can see and go along with what i'm doing you know all these cool little designs and stuff like yeah um yeah anyway so as you guys can see i outlined that pumpkin with the black and now i'm creating this little um this little swirl i did it i did this little swirl twice um you probably can kind of see the remnants of it underneath a little bit just a little bit but yeah and that's another thing as well if you guys don't get something right the first time try again i am the well i won't say the queen of but i am one for sitting there and doing something until i get it right if it don't come out right the first time like most of these designs on the nail i've i did it like um you guys didn't see because i'm trying to have the video over with because it was like four hours but 
yeah i erased and started over majority of these designs um at least once like i think the only thing that i did not do over surprisingly i did the vampire mouth all the way through without having to start all the way over you know like erase stuff i may have to clean up some stuff but not erase stuff um and then that pumpkin but this bat here i've already did the bat once you guys probably can see a little bit of the remnants uh I, the bat twice i did that little swirl come out the pumpkin twice you know i like to you know if i don't get something right the first time i will literally do it over and over until i feel like it looks right um that's how you learn and build character for sure so i encourage you guys like i said to try out nail art you'll never know how to do it if you don't try and don't get discouraged the first time if you don't look right or anything like that just keep trying it keep going at it because again with anything you're only going to get better you can't go backwards practice makes improvement sorry y'all i just wanted to encourage y'all a little bit however i went ahead and did this bat right here on the nails i hope you guys saw how i did it i just drew a little v and then drew like a little the little curve for the top of the wings going across and then did the little um like what curved kind of u shape at the bottom of the bat wing and then like connecting it to the body of the bat on each side and then i kind of made the head a little bit um yeah so i just hope you guys saw that anyways now i'm going in with some little white sparkles onto the nail you know just freestyling it just you know doing my own little thing just adding as i go and coming up with this as i go um oh by the way somebody so one of you guys have reminded me in the comments to um because i said and like my the last video or, or the last video i did these little sparkles was that i always had trouble doing these little sparkles like i could never you know i was never they were never like that good or whatever and one of you guys reminded me because I, I did want to try because i forgot where i heard it from first maybe zule or something but one of you guys reminded me in the comments to pull like to drag the dot in the center to make the um sparkle lines like better like if that makes sense like drag the polish from the center of the circle to make the sparkle look good anyways y'all so i couldn't figure out what i was going to do in the middle of this nail right here as you guys saw i drew a black moon i drew this pink bat i drew a couple of different things y'all until i um just finally was like well not draw nothing there and then i did come back at the end and uh because it, it felt empty to me i did come back at the end to draw a pink little moon but you guys will see that at the end anyways um now on to my favorite part well this was not my favorite part in real life not in real life it wasn't it's just my favorite nail the way it came out <laughs> i mean it was kind of fun making it but it just took me literally forever like I don't know how long i don't know if i told you guys already how long it took me to do this one freaking nail but i want y'all to go ahead and guess real quick guess real quick how long it took me to do this one nail well guess after you see it guess after you see it <laughs> anyway y'all so i'm gonna be creating this mouth y'all this vampire mouth when i saw this this like this like stole my heart with the set like i don't normally recreate any sets for real but um when i saw this vampire mouth like i had to try this this was so cute um this was just so bomb anyway so as you can see right now i am doing the outline of the mouth and using that same pink that i was using pepto from nail house um i'm gonna go ahead and fill it in after outlining it and you know got the little drip going on at the bottom so go ahead going ahead and doing that curing um each coat in between because i did do two and then i'm gonna walk you guys through the rest of the steps okay so reiterating again that i don't you know draw on the nails for real had no idea how i was gonna go in and do this mouth here but my little tips for you guys when trying out something as detailed as this is to break the picture down in your mind well at least that's what i did um i mean i don't mean picture you guys know what i mean like break down whatever it is that you're drawing and in your head and make it make sense first um if there's no tutorial like i don't i don't think well i won't say there's a tutorial because i don't i don't know if she did do one but i know that i didn't see a tutorial i didn't even really look for one either but anyways anyways y'all go off subject anyways break it down 
um i knew that i need to start off first with the base of the mouth of course with the oh the pink all of the pink um and then i knew i needed to you you want to make sure that you make the whatever it is you're drawing make sense and that you pay very close attention to detail because you don't want anything to overlap or look funny or anything like that so i knew after drawing the base i would need to draw the inside of the mouth um and the reason i do this is because like you know maybe someone like you know would try to go in first with the the top lip and then do the bottom one all of that no it's way much easier when you're drawing something to draw the base of the entire thing first and then fill in the inside if that makes sense i hope i'm making sense here i hope i hope y'all following me here so like i said next i would focus on drawing the inside of the mouth which is what i'm doing now with the black i'm going to make the entire mouth first i'm not going to try to draw the teeth and fill it in and fill it in with the black and do the cherry and go in around it i'm going to draw the whole entire um inside of the mouth first y'all following me i hope y'all following me <laughs> um and i'm gonna fill in that black now um i noticed how the cherry kind of overlaps um the lip a little bit and the way it is kind of like inside of the drip and all of that hang off to the side and yeah just like i said pay very close to you know detail i mean very close attention to detail right so like I said, going in with the base and then the basics, you know, like the basic things, adding all of the details later. Um, you don't want to focus on the details first. Obviously, you want to do all of the details later. Um, you just want to, like I said, make logic of it, right? I sound like an artist, but I swear, y'all, I'm not an artist or anything like that. I just am making, you know, sense of the, the work, the art. So now i'm going to go in with the teeth because i noticed how there's a black outline of you know it's a lot of detailing to make it look realistic so i know this teeth look crazy <laughs> it's gonna look crazy for right now they look long and kind of crazy but like i said we're going to be drawing a black line over the teeth um at the top you know on the lip <laughs> um so the length of it really doesn't matter because some of it is going to be covered up by i knew that some of it was going to be covered up by that line and it doesn't matter how it looks at the top either how it's not perfect because like i said it will be covered you have to trust the process and like i said make logic of it um because it'll be way much easier if you just make logic of it instead of trying to work harder and not smarter so yeah and this is my like i said the first time drawing all of these things y'all if i can do it y'all can do it i promise um and it's not perfect but our best is all we can do right right so right now you guys can see me draw a little some little things um yeah and i can admit these teeth could have been a little bit more straighter y'all i was so like focused on just trying to get this right like just trying to you know like i was so focused i didn't notice that the teeth was kind of because um this was my second time attempting these teeth like Oh, so I did. Yeah. It okay. So it was my second time attempting these teeth right here. That was the only thing too. Um. Yeah. Sorry, y'all. It's getting late, but I'm gonna be taking y'all through this process and trying to explain to y'all. Um. Yeah. What I what I would have done doing this over, which I will do this design um another time because I really love this mouth. Um. But anyways second time around what i would have done is take taken some black and kind of just cleaned up those lines a little bit because the background is black it would have been so easy to just take some black and clean up those teeth and make them a little straight but but i also also was not going for straight teeth because nobody has straight teeth really unless they're you know and um and the picture and her in her mouth as well or she wasn't like so perfect like because teeth aren't perfect right um so i was trying to make it a little bit realistic anyways what you guys just saw me do there was mix some clear gel and some pink gel to start creating my little detailing on the mouth um that is a tip there i hope you guys are listening we are doing detailing on like you know like little shadows and stuff take 
kind of the same color that you're using like or the same not the same exact shade but the same color you're using and add some clear to it to make it a little bit more um transparent so that you can create those um shadow that shadow look those shadow looks i learned that when i i learned that during the 90s um heart little nails you know you guys know that that design with the hearts and the you guys know anyways took some black made the lip detailing you know and now i'm going in with that pink the same pink on the other nails that one from beetles and i am creating the cherry y'all um like i said see how much easier it is just creating those little little um details like you know what i'm saying as far as doing that little black outline first and just adding the little, the little things in the inside instead of having to draw like i said the top lip the bottom lip this and that the teeth the inside just you know it's easier that way so yeah that's what i'm doing now just adding the cherries and the cherry little the little line work inside the cherries to make it you know realistic and then a the little little um almost like kind of reflective things you know like the little shiny y'all know what i'm drawing right now y'all know what i'm trying to say um and just adding all the details you guys can see all the details i'm adding it's kind of like self-explanatory um and then i put the cherry on the top at the end we're going to be drawing well not the cherry on the top but the last thing i will be doing is outlining it in a little bit of black like hers was in the picture so y'all reiterating <laughs> that i'm no artist and i had no idea how to draw this mouth but i broke it down in my head made it make sense did you know work smarter not harder um and um yeah this is just how it came out y'all super duper proud of it i will be doing attempting this little vampire mouth again some kind of way because um it's a couple of things well not really the only thing i would do different is like i told you guys the teeth kind of like cleaning the teeth up a little bit but i really love how this mouth came out let me know what you guys think about it in the comment section below oh and now it's that time to guess how long this this mouth took me <laughs> like i had it in my head like i knew like i knew in my head how i would go about doing it i just had to execute it it's all um, and it took me a little while, y'all. It took me a little while. So I want you guys to guess in the comments um, or if you're in the premiere, comment um, how long you think it took me to do this one. Well, not even just the mouth, like the entire nail, like, but just think about the mouth and that and, and tell me how long you think it took me. Um, oh, also still not done. Notice how I did the outline of this mouth first and then I drew the stems to the cherry. All about paying attention to detail and, and making it make sense in your head. Had I drawn, I could have drawn the, I could have drawn the stems to the cherries first. However, um, it's just, it's just much, it was just, um, y'all, <laughs> going on 4 a.m., okay this is my brain going on 4 a.m um matter of fact never mind even what i was gonna say just never mind it <laughs> um what i will say is that i noticed how i drew the cherries themselves like the cherry itself with my dotting tool that is much it's much easier drawing like circles with dotting tool rather than a brush because it's just much easier like that you can control the dotting tool more like a pen almost or a pencil whatever you want to call it almost um it's just much easier that way so that's a little tip okay so i did draw these little stems like how she did it in the picture but then i'm like well i mean i didn't quite like it like it was cute but i wanted to make it shorter and i didn't want to do like the little leaf thing i wanted to kind of do like just no leaf so this is what i ended up doing so y'all the mouth part is pretty much done i really hope you guys like was following and understood exactly what i was trying to say and um anyway so i'm just going in and adding little extra details um just you know little extra details that i wanted here and there to kind of make it pop a little and now i'm just going in with those little dots like she had on her nail but of course we're doing a different color and not so many like you know just making it my own also not doing any bling because i felt like this set was so cute without it um yeah i'm gonna go ahead and let you guys finish watching me do this here
I'm so loving these. Also, so proud of them. Like, I'm loving it. Um, and I always love pink and black together. Like, the last Halloween set I did, um, I noticed that I just did some more pink and black. But anyway, going in now on the thumbnail and making it um, the same as the other two little cartoon nails, y'all. And at this point, I ain't gonna lie to y'all, I was so over it. I think at this point, I was like, at this point, I was like four hours. I was over four hours in at this point, and I was so over it. Um, I was sitting there watching the Zule's live um, in the background. And, um, yeah, just doing this little thumb. Um, I'm going to kind of speed through this because you guys already saw me create it on the other nails. And I did do two coats, although you guys didn't see me do the second one. Because um, I was just trying to get it, get it, you know. The video was long. <laughs> Anyways, y'all. Going in on that nail, like I told you guys, I wanted to do something in that, in that um, space right there. I just didn't know what um but i ended up going in with a pink moon that looks so cute um and yeah gonna go ahead let you guys see me do that and finish up the thumbnail also sorry not sorry for all of the <laughs> black gel polish on my hand there it was kind of annoying me too like throughout like watching it back y'all i was so focused on these nails i didn't see oh i had cleaned it up now i don't remember at which point i cleaned it up y'all i'm so tired right now i didn't even notice when i cleaned it up but it was a bunch of black polish on my hand there um and like inside of my palm and i didn't notice it during because i was so focused on these designs as well as there's still some on my right hand on my fingers and underneath my nails and stuff from cleaning it up with my nails and stuff and just yeah but anyways going in now with the, this little black outline of the nails going to be adding the details and then i'm going to be top coating these nails in matte i was kind of debating between matte and shiny um ended up going with matte because i haven't done matte in a while but i think shiny would have looked really cute with these as well but the matte made the designs pop even even more um yeah so i'm gonna let you guys finish watching now all right y'all this is how we're looking these are so so cute not quite done yet i'm gonna go ahead and top coat these nails and matte like i said using acrylic creamery's matte top coat um gonna cure them i like to cure my matte nails for two minutes instead of one i just feel like they come out even more matte looking if that makes sense don't know if it makes sense but if you haven't tried it try it if you don't do it i promise they'll come out looking even more matte like because sometimes it could be a little bit like not all the way matte if that makes sense so they cut they come out matte matte with two minutes instead of one in the lamp so yeah like i said gonna go ahead and finish top coating these nails i'm gonna cure them in a lamp for 60 seconds well the thumb that is i always like to do the thumb last because i just feel like it cures better but yeah this is how they look y'all did i nail it or what i know i did my own thing with the ring fingernail and all of that but as far as the mouth go and like you know as far as the mouth go did i nail it or what let me know in the comment section below i'm so in love with these y'all like the little cartoon is not like so realistic and everything like i know i say every set to my favorite but it's so hard because they just be cuter and cuter each time like i don't know y'all but here are my final results speak up
unreal unreal like that's all i have to say it's unreal <laughs> like i'm super proud of the way these came out i need y'all to like spam these comments like i need y'all to spam them okay <laughs> if you guys enjoyed this video and love these nails as much as i do please be sure to give this video a thumbs up leave your thoughts in the comment section below don't forget and subscribe to my channel if you're not already because like if you're not subscribed already like i don't even know like i don't even yeah <laughs> and turn on your bell notification so that you're notified each and every single time your girl drop thank you guys so much for watching spam these comments and i'll see y'all in the next one bye for now